the black community. It is only in the black community you see um, scammings on the internet. It is only in the black community you see fellow black man using his fellow black man for money rituals. And it, it looks like, like a norm in the black community now. It's only in the black community you see people celebrating the end result and not the process. It is only in the black community you see people becoming successful without having a proof they went through the process. It is only in the black community you see persistent scammings of people on the internet and our mothers, fathers keep celebrating their children for driving big cars and using um, big phones and, and just like that. This video is a free video given to you by Gary Science. Gary Science is an ebook seller, audiobook creator, an inventor, a motivational speaker, and an online tutor. It's only in the black community that you are going to see parents actually um, are showing their weakness to their children instead of strength. The reason why many black people scam on the internet to make money is because they have this limited view of who they are and why they are on this planet. Although it's tied to religion and the effect of religion or being religious, uh, I think that is what is happening in the black community. I'm telling you is that true happening here so you watching this stuff as a black man you change your mindset now we live in a world where on youtube you can see people ritual killings and our news tv carry this stuff on the internet not knowing that youtube is a place where billions of people watch videos every day youtube is, is made up of people from different countries how are they going to perceive your country by the time they watch a video of of people using other people for money rituals i really think this should stop and again we live in a world where in the black community you see people just want to ride big cars they don't want to impact the society in any way now are there effects to all this stuff what are the consequences of all this stuff many people still do these things why because they don't know the consequences right now and i want to highlight the consequences of all these things right now to you now by the time you consistently scam people on the internet Take note, the people you are scamming are not happy. They are taking actions every day to make sure that one day you are caught. So if you keep scamming people on the internet, get ready for a day where probably Facebook is going to ban Nigerians or any other country from using the platform. Get ready for a day when YouTube is going to sanction Nigerians or whatsoever country that produce the most scammers on the internet. So get ready for that day. Now imagine your country scamming people on the internet or, or people from your country. There are certain countries that produce many scammers. Just imagine. Now it has to do with the parents and what the children we actually taught at their little age now you see many families before in nigeria we are speaking right now from eight out of every ten nigerians can be bribed can be convinced with money it all deals with what they think about money and and how they feel about money and the question here is our school system has failed why because the school system just teach people what to think they don't teach people how to think and if you want to change someone's life just teach the person how to think now if you learn how to then you are going to be able to be creative that is the reason many graduates are not creative why because they don't teach them how to rather they teach them what to think now this is great science right now now as you as many people will be asking right now has this guy created anything i have created my own soft drink okay i have invented my own soft drink that is explosive if you open the can okay i have also created many audiobooks many digital products online on the internet i give free copies every day changing people's lives so i have done it if i have done it i can teach you how to the problem the solution to any black country facing this stuff is to learn how to think and not what to think if our school system could restructure everything to teach students what how to think and not what to think they will be having great inventors graduating from the college every day now we have many college graduates having nothing to show for their years of studies how could you go to a 
school, go to a college or a university, you study four years without being curious. The things you hear from students' mouths when they come out of the university is this school is stress. Just imagine, it does it hard to be so? It ought not to be so, my friends. To the issue of parenting in Nigeria and in other countries, this guy here is from Nigeria, talking this right now. Now, the issue of parenting is very poor. We got little children, boys and girls right now, at the age of 17, give birth to children without having any parenting skill at hand. Even their own parents have poor parenting skills. That is why they have to give birth at the age of 17. So how will that young girl right now, having a baby at the age of 18, 17, be able to actually teach that child that, he, that she has given birth to what to do? How will that, that young girl be able to raise that child very well. This is the problem. We overlooking this stuff right now. But I'm telling you, there are consequences if we overlook this stuff. Now, let's pay attention to the war right now in Ukraine. If Ukraine had been preparing for a time like this, if Ukraine had been preparing for a time like this, I'm telling you the truth, Russia wouldn't have done what they're doing to them right now. If Ukraine had shown their strength in science, if Ukraine had brought up thousands of great scientists in their own country, I bet you Russia would have been afraid, would have been scared to do what they are doing to Ukraine right now. So if you as a country, Nigeria or any other black country, you are not prepared preparing right now i'm telling you the truth one day a european country may look down on your country and may want to impose certain laws on you and if you reject they may just come and take over your country this is some this is a huge lesson putin is teaching everyone right now you need to be smart as a country you need to have your own power as a country i just got the news right now that putin even punished the united states telling them that they are not to buy anything from russia again if he knew that his country was not powerful would he do that no he knows that russia is powerful that is why he can do that stuff that is why he's not afraid how powerful is your country how powerful is nigeria can nigeria really do well do well in time of war we're not saying there should be war but at least you should you as a country you should bring out your own dangerous poison that will make other countries go away from you you can attest to this by by understanding that if you see a lion, the reason why you are scared, why you run away is because you know the lion can hurt you. But if you see a chicken, a fowl, the reason you don't fear it is because it doesn't have anything harmful. That is how it is. So as a nation, we use nation, you are supposed to have certain kind of, uh, should I say, behavioral pattern that is going to make other countries become scared of you in the time of let's say war or trying to oppress a nation so we all should understand that we're living in this country right now in nigeria everyone is comfortable driving cars scamming people on the internet going to hotels and all of us just want to make money without going through the process without actually changing people's lives in the process of making money like if we all continue like this i'm telling you the simple truth the houses you are building today the cars you, you, are, you are buying today will all be destroyed destroyed because it won't last something can happen war can happen and the reason why other countries may look down on your country is as a result of the people or citizens of that country now let's assume for instance nigeria produced like 50 scientists inventing things that other scientists in other countries can't do this will bring respect to our country but now how many scientists do we have in nigeria that are actually inventing things we don't have anyone in nigeria inventing things including our professors we have professors in different universities but yet they don't invent anything like no one should be given a professorship if he hasn't invented anything yet professorship should not be based on books i can write a book anybody can write a book so that you're a professor you write a book there's no guarantee you're given a professorship the professorship should be given to people who actually have invented things professorship should be given to people who can think like Neil deGrasse Tyson in the United States those are the kind of values that we should raise in our country if we want to respect and if we want to avoid what Ukraine is actually going through this day. 
Now, from research, I realized that you could put Russia has actually done this thing to many other countries. So don't wait until they come to Nigeria. Don't wait until other European countries seize something valuable in Nigeria and trying to take it by force, leading to war. If there is war, your assets that you are building right now, the cars that you are scamming people to buy, the buildings that you are scamming people to buy, will all be destroyed. So you, in the, in the actual sense, you don't own anything here on this planet. You you don't own the money you have you don't own the car you have because it could be destroyed anytime you don't own the building you have today so don't base your trust on anything you have rather base your trust on what you can do and what you can invent now we live in a country whereby people who get poor after becoming rich in money don't actually know how to get the money back why because they didn't go through the process many people in Nigeria and other black countries get money out of luck and if you are rich out of luck i tell you the truth you can't make the money when you lose it all again if i should lose all the money i have today just give me a maximum of eight months and i'm gonna get the money back but the question here is this why did i say eight months so many people want it so fast it doesn't happen that way it does anything under space time takes anything that's under this 3d dimensional reality takes time to manifest so if there's anything you want understand that it must take time before it show up if you want to go to a place understand that it has to take time in order for it to happen well, if we, if humans, we are in control of 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 of, of puberty period, or let's say parturition period, okay, I am sure that people would have seen it up. Now, if you if you're pregnant as a woman, it takes nine months before you actually give birth. This is what nature has done and designed. It takes time. For you to succeed in anything you want to do it takes time for you to become well known in the society today but now we're living in the black community where everybody just wants help what is the definition of help whenever you help someone out of pity you destroy your own life how much do you think you can earn legitimately as a black person? How much do you think you can make legitimately as a black person? This video should not be watched by any white person. Like this, I want to talk to my black people. I want to talk to my community right now. You can watch, but this video is mainly to touch my community. You're going to go everywhere. Now, how much do you think you can earn as a black man? I'm not going to show my face because I don't want recognition. I make my money. I work for my money. Now... <laughs> You should understand this, that many people right now are just lost in the idea of religion. Many black people, the most religious country in the world, is actually the one suffering, lacking lacking power, having the most internet, producing the most internet frosters. Like, is that a good name? So, listen, the more we do this, the more we produce, you think internet frosters are good people, right? Like, this, the more you produce internet frosters as a country, the more your value as a country goes down in the eyes of other countries. So, some the other countries may look down on your country and may want to come and overtake your country, just like how Russia is doing to Ukraine. Take note, Ukraine was was not expecting this war at last last at last year if they were told this thing would happen they would have rejected it but now it's happening this is the sad truth we need the efcc the army the nigerian army the nigerian police all have to keep up we need to step up and stop these scams on the internet. We need to step up and stop these criminal activities. Anyone who is caught doing money rituals, like science in Nigeria, should develop a punishment for them that is more than just burning them to death. I don't accept that punishment. Burning someone to death is really absurd. You didn't create that person. Now why did you burn that person to death? Firing people to death is not accepted by me. The science in Nigeria should develop a way or a punishment that is going to finally end this stuff. The more you burn people to death, the more you have people doing these coming activities. That is not a proper way to punish people. The science in Nigeria is dead. 
we need to wake it up all professors in nigeria should be sacked because they actually didn't earn the professorship checking here it's checking our countries we have people professors inventing different things right now what are we doing what we are again what we are what are scientists are on a path to discovering whether or not we are in a simulation how many scientists in nigeria do we even know how many scientists in nigeria are actually talking about this simulation game all we talk about is how to go and study lab technology in, in school how to go and study medicine and show that you are superior if you go to the hospitals you see medical doctors working with their shoulders all raised up in nigeria just because they think like like nigeria is just it's just because they think oh i so highly of themselves Listen, I am not going for medicine because I don't like medicine. That doesn't mean I can't do it. If you are if you are someone who has gone through the process and you become great, you will understand that every other person can also become great too. So those doctors that raise their shoulders are people who actually didn't learn anything about mindset. Actually, people who are not educated. There's a difference between going to school and being educated. You can go to school, go to the university, but education comes from your personal self. Education comes from your personal studies education comes from you learning something new every day that is what education is going to school means so simply means going to school and get degrees and get the results we should all be prepared the science in nigeria is dumb school of science and technologies in nigeria they are all dumb universities they are all dumb universities this is a wake-up call to all genetic engineering and biotechnology departments in all universities this is a wake-up call what are they doing what are they modifying what products do we actually have that we that we know that's going to make us become like hot cake to other countries russia has oil has gas it's making an hot cake in other countries what do we have that will make Nigeria so valuable. Are we still basking in the old glory? Are all Nigeria heroes dead? That thus making all creativity is dead? All Nigerians today have this what they call duplicating mindsets. Where if something new comes up by somebody, all they do is duplicate it, cause overcrowding and lead to scarcity, destroying that thing. If you learn in this tailoring, learning handwork, you are duplicating that thing. And if you duplicate something all the time, taking it is going to lead to overcrowding. And when it's, when is when there is overcrowding, there's likelihood of scarcity. And when there is scarcity, there's hunger. This is why the Nigeria is always and other black nations are always in hunger all the time. Now here is a question right now. Here is a book I recommend you read. What is wrong with being black? By Matthew Ashimowolo. Go read that book. That you are in Nigeria does not prevent you from succeeding. Many Nigerians just do their another and other black nations. They just do their business without caring about their environment or the environment in which they do their business. This is more than you just sweeping your environment. It's more than that. What do you do? To actually make this society a better place. We're living in the black culture where the roads, first of all, are not even well built. They leave the place where there's sand for pedestrians. You understand me if you're in the black community. The place where there is no sand is the place for moving vehicles. Then the place where there is sand in the corner of the road is the place for pedestrians. Are we so dumb? And we have professors in those positions. What are they doing? What are the professors doing with their brains? They are dumb people. You are dumb as a professor if you are listening to this stuff. Come and meet me. I'm going to prove you wrong. You don't know anything. You are dumb. Because science is a 19 year old boy, will be turned 20 this year. You are dumb as a professor. Get angry. I don't need anything from you. I don't need your money. Your pain should die with your money. How many professors, how many people can hold on to their values? Living in Nigeria, living in a black community where 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 every eight out of every black person, eight out of every ten black person is can be convinced and bribed with money. Why? Because they don't have any education about what money is. We invented money. Money was invented. So why didn't you live all your old life trying to get money? Rather, you should live your old life trying to do what you are here for. Mark Zuckerberg brought what he is here for, did what he is here for. He created Facebook. The person who invented YouTube created YouTube. They did what they are here for. They didn't look for the money. They did, if you do what you're here for, you will get the money as a byproduct. If you don't quit, 
but yeah we're living in the black community where as soon as you feel it's like it is something abnormal as soon as you feel it's like god is not with you who do you think god is number one the black community the black community is is has really really missed it when it comes to god they don't have any idea of who god is rather they just want to save their own self and their own selfish nature we live in the black community where Christians are actually separating other Christians. Like it's like we have other religions under Christian, under Christianity now. Religion, Christianity ought to be on the basis of love, not charity. Love is different from charity. We live in the black community where all people's mindset is on help. Who is gonna help me? Who's gonna help me? That's what we're doing right now. And if this mindset, mindset can be transferred from generation to generation. So if this mindset is still transferred, the mindset you have right now was transferred to you by your four, 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 four fathers. Those who even experienced the slave trade. If you experienced the slave trade, you will agree with me that something actually happened to the mindset of those people who experienced the slave trade. And they have transferred that mindset up to you right now. Listen, I deliberately changed my own. I read that book, What is Wrong with Being Black, by Matthew Shimawolo for four good months, and I changed those beliefs. They are coming from the forefathers who experienced the slave trade. That is why you just think the white person is perfect, and they don't experience failure. Failure is not abnormal. Everyone experiences failure. I think it is even failure because of how you perceive it. How you choose to perceive your reality is your reality. How many black people are talking about simulation? How many black people are talking about our mindset why because we are not free thinkers we have taught ourselves to actually restrict our thoughts to actually restrict where we can think up to it could come from religion because of our of our wrong way we think about god god is an unadulterated form of energy that penetrates all time and space if you see god this way you will understand that god is the source of all creativity you understand that we should stop what we're doing and start creating. I miss the olden days. I miss the seventeens. I miss those times. Now we live in a world where people people are not even creative anymore. We have dumb people in the universities. They are not inventing anything. They are not creating anything. They are not testing anything. No experiment is done. We just want to duplicate what we already have. Duplicate what the white man has given to us in their books. This is this does not hurt to be so. This ought not to be so. If the black community must be better, the black community must learn to pay attention on the process that leads to the 